Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, something that I, it just kind of dawned on me. I doubt you guys can hardly see this shit, but I can see it because it's a bit clearer picture for me. So, you have, um... Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You have Chronicle, which is the page that we have open, that's the C. And H is Headquarters, and S is Skirmishes. And P, I think, says Personnel, W says Weaponry. Uh, and there's a there's other all these tabs like M at the bottom is music S is statistics. I don't know what what looks like D and G are. But there's a lot of tabs in this book. That's all I'm gonna say. A lot of tabs. Oh, it could be glossary. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good call. Maybe. So anyway, I just noticed that and thought it was interesting. Hey there! You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? No. Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oh, daisy What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Ah, oh, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you, anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story, a good story. And you guys are it. I don't know what the implication of so woman is in that you, sentence, and I'm not going to talk about it, but Very it, good. it is reporter, odd. Yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews. Thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. This, that, that is a character. That is a character. Ah, it went up three minutes, but that may have all been the menu time as well. We'll never know. Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? He, he thinks he is being harassed. Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Oh, I hate kids. Oh, I hate your beard. Uh, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Well, that was interesting. Chapter 4, Operation Cloudburst. The Personnel tab, the Weaponry tab, the Glossary tab. These three tabs offer information on the game's cast, the arms they wield, and the things and places that form the world. Open the menu with the Y button, and then in the tab select menu, select the resource you would like to read. Their contents are automatically updated as you progress through the game's plot, so check back on a periodic basis. Castle Front Street. The War Cemetery. The personnel tab has been updated. A bunch of shit's been updated. Great. Oh. Oh. Huh. Change outfit. Look at that. Move model. Wow. Uh, son of the late EW1. So yeah, there was a war. There was a war before. 
He just got sent to university. His focus lay in animal sociology. That's not a real thing, game, and I know it, and you can't lie to me. She's only 19. A captain, a team captain in the Brutal Watch. She also worked as a living apprentice at the local bakery. Corporal, age six. Wait, she's a corporal at 16. Darks an engineer, Professor Thamer, Timer, Tamer, Timer. Adopted into Gunther's family as Welkin's sister. Uh, Faldi is 23. Tank commander and leader of Squad 1. Archaeology student. Knowledgeable history considerable. Sure, that won't come into play later. Third Regiment Captain, direct superior to Welkin. She is one of the most feared yet respected officers. 35, unmarried. 36, Lancer, since his initial conscription. Oh, shit. So the war that happened in the past is not even, probably not even 20 years ago. So they had 20 years of peace. Twenty-seven, formerly a bartender and songstress, she still bears the nickname Rosie, given to her by the bar-going regulars, so it's not a real name. Oh, her name is Bridget Stark. Ah. Hmm. Private first class, age 20. Mechanic working militias, R&D factory, weapons, maintenance, and repairs. Age 20, member of Chief Task Development of New Weapons. Asshole 54. Family with a long history of military service. Ugh. 38. Wait, how many kids did she say she has? She's 38? She okay. Nanny to the Gunther family, like her mother before her, she helped raise Welkin and Isara since birth, as well as five of her own children. And she was pregnant and had a sixth child. At 38. Holy shit. Martha became a surrogate parent and source of assurance to the orphan welcome me, Sarah. Martha's baby. Oh, no, this is Martha's fifth child. Okay, got it. Sergeant, age 48, chief drill instructor. Stern counted harsh words haunt the dreams of soldiers near and far. Late father, widely regarded as a great hero. No image. Great. Oh, they're calling it the... Okay, so EW1 is European War 1. Got it. Biological father and gifted. Darkson, inventor who contributed much to furthering Gallian technology. Okay. Oops. Wait. After, he built the tank after the war? Seems like that would have been a handy invention ahead of there. Shock Trooper 17, leap before you look brash and flighty, carefree nature of earned in the name Bird. Age 25, skittish and introverted, found interactions with other diff others difficult, seem rather uncomfortable as well as Shock Trooper. 65. Kobe's 65. Holy shit. A foreman for a carpentry company before he joined the militia. His bad back is the result of an injury suffered during EW1. And yet he is serving again. Age 24. Handsome and smooth. He's popular with the ladies. A bit of a Lothario. He's made any a, many a beautiful woman. A bit of a Lothario? What does that mean? Uh, together with Aika, he roams the globe seeking adventure. Rumor has it he hails from a nation far removed from Europa's shores. Ah, right. The crossover character. Got it. Wendy, tinkering with explosives, filled this shutdown's days until an overly ambitious portion of gunpowder blew her house to bits. Rip. Uh, Self-proclaimed actress growing up in a tiny rural town. She was quite the starlet, though proud. She lacks coping skills. Her family ran an ironworks factory in Fozen. She dreams of designing accessories made of precious metals. Her belief that a sound body saves lives motivates her to train her physique daily. In nine years, she hasn't missed a day's work now. Nine? Psh. Talk to me when he gets a double digits. Full of more pep than even he knew what to do with. He enlisted. Friendly and upbeat, he is quick to befriend pretty much anyone. 
Fuck off, Ted. Consider it and polite to a fault. This dark sin school teacher rarely displays his emotions. Like Alicia, he worked as a team captain in the Brule Town Watch. Oh. He did? Hobbies include writing it. We didn't see him there. A man who behaves selfishly and irresponsibly in his sexual relationships. Well, there you go. Her life in the family farm led her to grow up rather sheltered. She's fifth. Nancy's 15? Dude, what is the conscription age? What the hell? How old is dipshit Ted? 16. He's highly allergic to most metals. Great. Great. That'll be handy, I'm sure. 18, formerly a model for the popular Galleon Girl magazine. She, li she lives her life devoted to fashion. Okay. Called Dancer of the Sands, she roamed the desert as an attendant to the Empire's attack killed business driving her to enlist. At 18. Okay, wait. Well... <laughs> She roamed the desert as an entertainer until the Empire's attack killed business, driving her to enlist. She's fucking 18! Anyway. Classmate at Wilkins, uh, Wilkins at University possesses both brains and beauty in space, making her the object of many voice dies. A uh, childhood friend and co-conspirator with Vice. She came with him from far off land. Half for adventure and half to keep him in line. Muscles send him to the moon, whether they be his own or those of the other gents in the squad. His little sneezes are just adorable. Alright, well, at least now we know that Jan goes by he, but still. A denizen of the capital city, city's seedy underbelly, his was a solitary life. He remained undefeated through countless turf wars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. An impoverished child has driven him, driven all the importance of wealth for him. Okay. Seek fame and fortune. Got it. There's gotta be more though, doesn't there? This isn't everybody. Is it? Oh, there we go. Hector... Former head of the local watch in his home village, he showed a natural leadership that won the respect of the soldiers. Sort of older sister figure to many seven sir teammates affectionately called her Lady Rose. She enjoys working out and off duty. Ran a well loved Randgriz, Randgriz eatery until donating all the food in her larder to refugees one day and joining the militia. Oops. Down. Yeah. Born in an arid region where the weather dictates one's day, he grew to avoid any energy expenditures he possibly could. So he's lazy. He worked at a frozen ironworks until the incursion of Imperial Darkson hunters drove him to evacuate the capital. To the capital. Uh, Leo Bate. Her love for tinkering with machines saw her enroll in a technical university. There she began work on developing new weapons. Life as a homebody ended when a stray tank shell demolished her house. She now fights to win back that peaceful existence. Always looking out for number one, he elected to become a sniper in order to keep himself safely removed from the front lines. An EW1 veteran, she didn't hesitate to enlist again to fight for her people. She holds the bond of friendship above all else. She doesn't get a name, I guess. Responsible for securing and treating Squad 7's wounds. She is well loved for her gentle touch, selfless, but no name. Well loved for what she does, but not who she is. I guess we'll look at Homer. Sensitive soul dwells within the angelic exterior of this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who volunteered for service despite his frail constitution. She's also a crossover kid. That's funny. All right. That's it for personnel. Military rifle, bunch of nerd shit. Great. Distinctive axe shape? Somebody tell me how this gun 
looks like an axe. Anywhere. If anybody has an, any idea on how this looks like an axe, I'm listening. Her name is Fina. Fair enough. Okay. So literally just all the guns. And I couldn't get... Oh, oh. And the gun lances. Anti-tank lance. Sniper rifle. Grenade. Another grenade, a tank, another tank. Oh, right. This might have some information that's worth reading. Oh, we can just we can just go through it this way. That's nice. Full of nature and rich in Ragnite ore, Gallia borders the Empire to the east and the Federation on its western edge. The southeast? Wait, no, east, the southwest. There's ocean to its left, isn't there? Well, hopefully there's a map. Central European nation is a constitutional monarchy. It is a monarchy. Ubai House, Rand Grizz, uh, hereditary sovereigns of Gallia, the first ruling ancestor of the house, revered as the legendary hero of the ancient War of the Valkyrer. Valkyrie. Uh, I think that's probably where we're going to get Valkyria from, but we'll get to that. Built a castle on the site of what is now the capital city, Rondgris, establishing it as the seat of Gallian rule. Despite its size of only, I guess that's small, population of 430k, it boasts a rich and unique culture. The official currency is the Ducat, which is what DCT is. It's characterized by policies of armed neutrality, armed neutrality, and universal conscription. Uh, yeah, look, how the fuck, it doesn't work, look at, okay, so it says, uh, borders the Empire to the east and the Federation on its western edge, that's what it says. Look at this fucking map, and tell me how west fits into any border other than water. Look at all of the water on the west. The west is all coast. Nation was formerly born in the third century, uh, built rule surrounding areas. The Empire invaded Gallia at the turn of the 19th century. The king renounced his crown instead of ruling over an autonomous region within the Empire's Archduke. But as democratic movements swept Western Europa, the Archduke harnessed that energy in Gallia to push for freedom from the Empire, resulting in the War of Gallian Independence. Stretched thin between multiple fronts, the Empire was unable to maintain its hold, and the small nation rose as the independent principality of Gallia, declaring neutrality and establishing a system of universal description. Topography! Still no eastern border. Just want to make sure we're all clear on that. There is no world where this nation... Or, sorry, western. There's still no western border. There is no world where there is a western border. made a mess. Uh, within, with the sea at its north and west. <laughs> the thick forest shielding it to the south, Gallia is naturally... Oh, maybe they meant like a theoretical western. Like, technically everything to the west of it is. Still a dumb way to put it. Uh, Gallia is naturally fortified against evasion, historically show, allowing it to repel even significantly larger foes. Hilly plains cover 60% of the nation's land, and its mountains contain a rich store of Ragnite ore, a valued source of energy. Large cities dot the flatlands to the north, while the rest is largely occupied by lush farmland. Gallia enjoys a temperate, oceanic climate, with little variation in rain levels throughout the year, and the soil is highly fertile because growing conditions for livestock and grain are equally favorable, Gallia practices a mixed form of agriculture. Brule is a small town, lies on the imperial border at the eastern edge of Gallia. Windmills stand atop 
the crests of many of the region's rolling hills, but few are as large as the so-called sister mills built from an old castle tower in the heart of town. Because it radiates out from the mill, Brule is also known as Miller's home. The, ro the town supposedly began as a hideout for royal guard soldiers who had revolted against the king, perhaps an echo of that. This town of just under 8,000 nonetheless has an active town watch, and rulers are famous for taking pride in guarding their homes themselves. Exports include dairy and bread made from locally grown wheat. Capital of Gallia since its days as a monarchy, this ancient city has the longest history of any in Europa. The longest? The city takes its name from the ancient war hero who founded it and began rule over the surrounding area, the ancestor of today's house, Randgrus. Surrounded by castle walls stretching one kilometer in diameter, the entire city stands as a citadel and contains the seat of Gallia's politics, economy, and culture. Castle Randgris, home to the Archduke, marks the iconic heart of the capital. Its single magnificent tower has been likened to a unicorn's horn, giving rise to the national crest that bears the likeness of the mythical beast. The Gallian army's central base stands amid a wooded area at the outskirts of the capital, form known for informally as Fort Amatrian. Amatri Amatrian. Amatrian. The on, in honor of General Amatrian, Amatrian, who was responsible for re restructuring Gallia's military and establishing the facility during it. Europa War One. Within its walls lie the army's command rooms, offices, training grounds, hangars for weapon storage and maintenance, and other military facilities. Households, living quarters, a mess hall, infirmary, and a relaxation lounge for the soldiers themselves. Even R&D work on inventing new weaponry takes place in an on-base facility with mechanics and engineers hard at work there around the clock. The Great Vassal Bridge, this massive iron drawbridge, spans the Vassal River, which flows into Lake Braz near the walls of Castle Randgris. Oh, okay, I kind of, I think I know where this is. The bridge has its origins in the late medieval area when it was built with two towers at either bank as part of a ring of defensive installations around the capital. 19th century renovations saw it made into a retractable drawbridge with a unique accordion fold design that allowed it to be operated by extending and retracting a single pair of cables. The city of Vassal grew out from either side of the bridge, prosperous in its role as a transit gateway between the Gallian capital and the outside world due to its key position on both ground routes and a series of canals connecting it to the North Sea. Okay. Ah, see? See? Look! That, yeah, so the Federation, it's... Ugh, anyway... It's a southern border with the Federation, and most of the Federation is to Gallia's west. But the real border, the key border that it shares is its eastern border with the Imperial uh, nation. As a resource-rich part of the largest landmass in the northern hemisphere, this land has inspired those with dreams of domination for millennia. In ancient times, the Valkyrer managed to managed to unite Europa under their rule, giving rise to a number of kingdoms. Subsequent divisions arose as influential leaders within each of the kingdoms chose to splinter off to form new nations, and it was not long before the first campaigns of conquest began. By the 1800s, the bounds of power lay split between the East European Imperial Alliance and the Atlantic Federation, with the small nations in their shadows left to weather the waves caused by the clash of these two behemoths. The Eastern European Imperial Alliance, a conglomerate of nations united under the rule of the East European Emperor, commonly referred to as the Empire. The Industrial Revolution that occurred when Ragnite was discovered as a useful energy source saw the nations of Eastern Europa, pioneers in machine technology, rise to power. Already tightly bound by a network of marriages amongst their royalty, these nations now joined hands in a formal international alliance. While not technically an autocracy, the Emperor enjoys limitless authority within the Alliance. The Empire retains customs and practices held over from medieval times, and its people are known to harbor conservative views, including a strong hatred for the Darkson race. Uh, the European calendar is used across Europa, has its has at its origin the Valkyrie conquests of the continent. For this reason, it is also known as the Valkyrian calendar. Uh, each year is counted in relation to the year the Darkson people were subdued and Europa was united as a continent. Years predating the unification are denoted as BC or before conquest. Great. Uh, there we go. The friction between Federation and Empire surrounding Ragnite resources 
escalated into a continent-wide war, EW1, or EWI. Uh, the Industrial Revolution of the 18th century led to skyrocketing demand for Ragnite, pitting Europa's twin giants in a race for resources. When the crown prince of the empire was assassinated at the start of the 20th century, tensions spiraled into an all-out war. So we know that it was in the somewhere in the 1900s. That's when this war happened, is somewhere in the early-ish 1900s, before the 1930s time that we're in right now. Probably around 1910 to 1915, if we had to make an educated guess. Um, tensions, uh, though the Imperial force employed a core of newly developed tanks, hostility soon became bogged down in fruitless trench warfare, and the two exhausted powers ultimately signed a ceasefire agreement. During the war, Gallia's military, led by General Belgen Gunther's tank, corps, uh, tank corps, foiled an Imperial invasion attempt. Which would just be strategic positioning to try to come in at a different angle than kind of... As you can see, so the Atlantic Federation and the East European Imperial... Uh, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, Alliance. It, it kind of looks like... It's hard to see from this map as we look at it, but it kind of looks like the Atlantic Federation has all of the has those two bigger countries potentially that are kind of like near Gallia there and outlined so oh, that's interesting anyway okay second European war beginning as an imperial incursion into federation land uh European war two quickly engulfed the entire continent in what became the largest scale war in Europa's history though EW1 ended in a stalemate both powers had spent the intervening years stockpiling arms and preparing for the inevitable return to hostilities after a short 20-year pause. So yeah, okay. The Empire began the invasion anew, taking three of the Federation's border republics in quick succession. Three of them. Where would the third border republic be? There's definitely room for two. The Federation responded with a formal declaration of war. It wasn't long before the forces of both superpowers began to spill across the borders of other neighboring nations. Soon all of Europa was caught up in a war that dwarfed all those in memory. One of Gallia's national precepts states that all citizens are eligible to be drafted into service in times of war. Enacted as a way to enforce the position of armed neutrality adopted after Gallia won its independence, the law prescribes a three-stage draft according to need and applies to men and women alike. Schools of each level offer mandatory military education, and all citizens are required to graduate from middle school, meaning all Gallians have basic training and combat skills. Universities double as officer training schools, and graduates are eligible for the rank of lieutenant upon enlistment. A, self a standing self-defense force serves to uphold Gallia's position in neutrality. As every citizen receives basic military training, most of Gallia is also guarded by independent watch groups, and defensive preparations are made on a town, neighborhood, and household level. In times of peace, Gallia's army is made up of around 80,000 ground units, 10,000 marine units, and 2,000 military police units, in addition to the autonomous town watches found across the nation. When at war, a militia is drafted from the civilian public and assembled under the standing force called the Gallian Army. Officers from the Gallian Army are assigned to lead militia regiments and battalions as necessary. As the nation's only arms manufacturer, the National Arsenal both develops and constructs all of Gallia's weapons. Seeing the production of arms as a part of national defense, leaders elected to end weapons importation and founded a new domestic arsenal during EW1. This also helped keep weapons technology and plans from leaking to foes. Professor Thimer, creator of the tank that war hero General Gunther operated, was a major player in the arsenal's initial staff, matched only by Bernhard Brondel in skill. Brondel, who rose to lead the arsenal, is said to have amassed his considerable knowledge through close friendships with a number of talented Darkson engineers. At the turn of the 20th century, a time when trench combat was the primary form of warfare, these armored vehicles were created to break across defensive lines. Their design employs a Ragnaline fuel combustion engine in which energy is harnessed from the explosive ignition of liquid Ragnite. Byproducts include a distinctive blue light and extreme heat, requiring the addition of a radiator at the tank's rear to prevent overheating. Originally used to cross trenches and as foot soldier support, economic and technological advances have seen tanks grow to fill a number of combat roles. 
After the Empire employed highly mobile ta attack tanks in EW1, all of Europa began to develop new vehicles, leading to the diverse array of models seen today. As Europa's primary energy source, this ore has become vital to daily existence. It's lumine it luminesces a characteristic blue hue when releasing the energy it contains. Mined primarily in mountainous regions, the raw ore is then refined for use in any number of applications. Though the ore's existence was known in ancient times, it was not until Valkyrer and it was not until the Valkyrer brought their refinery technology to Europa that its use began. Since the Industrial Revolution, it has become a vital ingredient to human civilization. A surging need for tank fuel and weaponry derived from the ore has recently driven Europa's nations to expand their borders in a growing war for resources. Depending on the refinery methods used, ragnite ore can produce various forms of energy suited to a spectrum of needs. Refined into liquid ragnoline, it can fuel lamps or power vehicles, granting it a broad range of civilian uses. Its military applications include tank fuel, an incendiary agent in flamethrowers, the explosive payload in hand grenades, and countless others. Medical scientists recently learned that the ore also acts as a painkiller, developing a controlled, disinfectant, and restorative agent known as ragnate. New properties and applications for the ore continue to be discovered daily, and few doubt that this resource will ever will only few doubt that this resource will only continue to grow in use and value. A perennial plant found across Gallia, near and dear to the hearts of many, as a source of inform as a sort of informal symbol of the nation. Distinguishing characteristics include small white star-shaped flowers and seed tufts, often carried off by the wind like tiny snowflakes. Its leaves spread close to the ground surface in clusters, with stalks bearing the plant's flowers at their center. As an exceptionally hardy plant, they are known to thrive even under adverse conditions, weathering times of extreme hardship to bloom again the next year. And that's it for the glossary. I don't... Yep, that's it. So we can go back to episode select. Actually, we should go to our headquarters. Oh, 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 what's in the command room? Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad. Oh, hmm. and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. New recruits? Just two. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. I want training field. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots. Train all you want. I've got all day. Ta -da. Might as well level them all up once, right? Fight the bullet! No pain, no gain! Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Looks like that should be a new potential out of the shock troopers! Okay. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order! Put it to good use out there! Defense boost. Great. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Welkin, bro. I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? Stop talking. Make more things for me. Dang it. Did I not do any of these last time? <laughs> right? Right? Okay, I see. So the name is there when I don't have the thing. It's done. This one's perfect, bro. Thanks, bro. Perfect, 
bro. Here you go, bro. All done. All set for you, bro. It's done. Oh, those are expensive. Holy shit. Oh, okay, I see. It just lets you cycle through all of those. Can you do the same thing here? Oh, you can. That's so nice. Did any? Are there any new weapons? No. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. Hey, Lieutenant. Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? I didn't say that. Sure. I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. Okay. Oh, boy. In an interview given on the 8th, a spokesman for the Central Gallian Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counter-strike brewing. Should this come to pass, all eyes will be on how a force that has thus far specialized in retreat can stem the imperial incursion that claimed most of Gallia by last month's end and now stands before the gates of Randgriz. It seems the militia will join the army proper on this bid to free the capital from a siege, a fear that has persisted for weeks now. Some suggest that this move is due to the army's desire to conserve its own manpower for combat within the city's walls, a very real possibility should this plan fail. The Empire owned and run Terrace News Outlet reported on the 6th that Imperial forces have claimed the coastal federation city of Valua. If true, the Empire would now hold a supply route for Ragnite Transit, greatly influencing their standing in southern Europa. Unlike the northern provinces, Europa's south lacks for Ragnite, meaning that supplies must be shipped in from elsewhere to sustain the Empire's offensive. The Empire's hold on Europa's southern coast means expansion of the conflict to all areas of the continent is more likely now than ever before. The Federation has yet to issue a statement regarding the Empire's alleged seizure of Valua at this time. Great. And while you're here, no interview. I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. You want money? That's even worse. So, I figured I'd ask you. Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. She's asking me to pay her for exposure. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. Fine. <laughs> Thanks a million. Yeah. I plan on putting out new editions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. So I have to help her do her job, pay her for it, and I get exposure in return. 
seems like a fair agreement. Paying your respects? Sorry, I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader. Hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me, and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you retreat today. Use it to command an injured unit to pull out of combat. Mm. Well, what is your decision? Oh, fuck. I see. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Great. Great. Book mode. God damn it. Report. Ellet embedded. Oh, her name is Ellet. Okay. Did she, she think maybe she said that already? Okay. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule, same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right. The tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that. Could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troop somehow. Huh. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then? <sighs> the truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. She said she was a radio jockey? 
She has a camera. Why does she need a camera? Oh no, it definitely takes cutscenes into account. Maybe I just literally lost an hour of gameplay when I... when my game crashed. I guess it would only have to be like... 45 minutes if it took us 15 minutes to get back to where I was. I did skip a lot of cutscenes. At least a couple cutscenes. Yeah. Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys! Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living. Plus, I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L. Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? Huh. <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others. <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with a dark sin leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chanteuse? They may be cranky, but they're characters. <laughs> Say it like you mean it. Ellet. A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. You were staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Like a kite? Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? Is that... You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? Gross. I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. 
I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. Uno más. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellett. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I, I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Uh -huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. But I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. We do. Not we do all. mind. Just try to stay out of the combat zones for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Well, then I'm not making any promises that you survive. Oopsie daisy. Oh, that's right. That's what this is for. Oh, wait. So do they... When I did those weapon upgrades... Okay, I don't actually have much control of this yet. Whoa, look at all these. Oh, these are the orders. There are a lot of them. There's ten per page. And there's three pages, and I have two. So I am two of thirty. Yikes. It looks like everybody's weapons got Okay, interesting. 
Not by you guys. Nope. Got it. Um. Did she put any? Did anything happen in here? Hey, dropping by to read the writing on the wall. That's a good man. Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad Seven, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. Who dat? I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Okay, those haven't changed. So, come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? Nope. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, that's what's been updating, is other shit. Okay. So, yeah, here's our skirmishes. Oh, look at all of them. Challenge. Jan's challenge! Okay. Interesting that there are, like... Character specific challenges. That might be worth investigating at some point. Oh, yeah, this guy. He's 52, frequent visitor to the graves. This doleful gentleman has begun passing his learned orders. Yep, okay. Oh, Jan got an update. A mother hen by nature, he worked as a babysitter before enlisting. Since then, he's busied himself preparing meals and baking treats for his crush, Largo. Great. Great. Nadine, Darkson. So the dark hair is kind of how you know whether or not they are Darkson or not, is what I've gathered. At least one way. Master's degree in literature? <sighs> what a waste of time. <laughs> Uh, naturally cursed with terrible luck, she found nothing but trouble any time she left home. She never, she tried never leaving, but soon lost even that safe haven. Naturally cursed with terrible luck? So Claudia is my surrogate in this video game. Listen in order to keep his sickly younger brother safe, the scar on his forehead tells of a childhood attempt to do the same. What? Oh. Okay, I think I get what it's saying. He defended his little brother at some point and got that scar. Alright. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge, and attacking the Eastern Camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the Army on this? The plan calls for the Army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions. Even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Barat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but what are you... Welkin! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welkin... I I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. 
You want me to break it up? I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let them have it out. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. Lieutenant, it's either her or me, pal. Okay, bye. Let her in anyway. You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her. Her type's got a bad reputation, and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed. You hear me? This is not casual. Yes, I've heard everything you have to say, but I'm still a human being, the same as you. Nothing about that was casual. Besides, no evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? It, that's enough. God, and she's a conspiracy theorist? Okay, Just boss. too real. Fuck, this is too real. I don't like it. Alongside no Darkson, what about that can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? With or without you, now fuck if off. If plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. Actually, it would be... But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. It would be Alicia's, because she's second in <laughs> command. But, I mean... Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But, wait a sec, Welkin... You can't ignore me because I'm a girl. Sub-episodes. Some episodes listed in book mode are marked with an asterisk. These are sub-episodes, often telling a side story tangential to the main plot. For that reason, it is not necessary to view them in order to advance in the game. Though there is no penalty for skipping sub-episodes, they often offer a different perspective on the events unfolding in the story you won't find elsewhere. Oh yeah, this one right here. I mean, I'm just gonna do it all. Like, I was. There's no reason not to. It's not like I'm in a rush. Is anybody in a hurry? Welkin. Hmm. What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise. That's what's up. I'm sorry, Wilkes. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, East. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah. That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. That'd be great if it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is that even possible? Well, Ys, think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, 
Let's get started. Does anybody feel like they gained some perspective? Because I feel like all they did was tease us. I feel like all they did was tease us. All right, let's hear this brilliant plan. Doesn't include you. Fuck off. And it's too late to back out, boss man. You got that? So let's hear it. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold it. You're asking us to die for you? One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river, then launch a surprise attack. Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, boyo? Oh, there it is right there, the fourth wall. Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't going to do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? It's a boat tank now! I fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Okay, now it's a uh, drive along the bottom of the river tank, but close enough. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's got to be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look, see that over there? What's that? Grass? Missile reed, a tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. Oh, so it's not even going to get submerged. It just has to be water resistant. The Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. You hear something? Yeah, I do. What is it? Nothing. It's me. Liam! Oh no, that fucking, that tank went under the water. Okay. The Edelweiss swims just fine. Fall it, in, Sevens. Okay, that's fine. Bit of a weird, bit of a weird take when it didn't. It just drove along the bottom, but whatever, it's fine. Everything's fine. Let's not talk about the fact that it would not be waterproof. She waterproofed it. That's what she did. Obviously, she fully waterproofed it. In 1930, in 1930s Europe, she fully waterproofed a tank. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> How dare you doubt it? How dare you? Let me brief you on Operation Cloudburst. We'll be working with the Vassal Defense Battalion. The enemy is stationed around the east end of the bridge. You have a powerful pair of advantages going for you now. One, you're behind them. Two, they don't know you're there. Except for the two, the two dudes who we didn't run over or kill who definitely got away in that cutscene and are going to warn our enemy. <laughs> Strike them hard and fast to make best use of that edge. Yeah, fantasy Europe. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp located at the mouth of the bridge. Okay. It's possible the enemy will detect your approach as time goes by. You don't say, would they be able to tell by, I don't know, the explosions and gunfire? What a strange concept. Once they do, count on them calling for backup. Get to that camp fast if you want this to end pretty, Lieutenant. Many enemy tanks are stationed in the area, but some still have their engines shut down, meaning they won't attack you. Any inactive tanks whose radiators aren't glowing and whose cannons aren't in position can be ignored completely. Also, it looks like they've got tanks of extra ragnite fuel sitting around throughout the area. 
A gunshot should be able to detonate those and hopefully take out any nearby tanks or foot soldiers with it. Okay, this is a 10 turn mission. Sweet. Um, or maybe the giant flare that just went off? I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's just fine. So, um, everybody deploying at the same spot. Uh, okay. It looks like there might be rubble in our paths. I don't think we get to go straight forward. I think we're going to have to kind of curve around that building a little bit and come back. Um, so I think probably our best option is to have a decent variety, but maybe not bring along Catherine. I don't know how much. Well, she would be a precise shot to uh, the Ragnite containers, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do... Uh... Let's take a look here. Kobe, Juno, Aisha, Dorothy. Oh, actually, I have these backwards, don't I? Look at that. Scouts can move far. So I've got Alicia up front so she can take the lead. Two scouts behind so they can kind of cover different areas. Shock troopers up front so they can move as far as they can with their short movement. The Lancer can hang back a little bit. Same thing with the Engineer and the Sniper, obviously. Hang to the side. Operation Cloudburst is set to begin. I know you can all make this work. Take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Squad 7, move out! All right, that's everyone. Ready to move out, squad? You're crazy. You know that, right? 
Incoming message from Squad 1 leader Faldio lands it on the West Bank, sir. Enemy company in motion. Presumed headed east across the bridge toward our position. Great. A full company? That's bad news for us. We'll have to move fast. We're taking that camp before the cavalry rolls in. Got it. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Every unit possesses a set of innate abilities known as potentials awakened in combat under spe special set conditions, such as remaining HP, terrain type, the current turn number, and other factors. Squad 7 is made up, of a, made up of a broad variety of individuals, each with their own strengths and shortcomings to keep in mind. Great. Uh, 7? Yeah, see, I don't think we're going to... Maybe we can go around it on this side, but I think this is mostly going to be an impasse for us. And that we're going to want to try to maneuver this way. Got some ladders up here. We can see a tank from our current position. We can see two tanks and this scout from our current position. All right. Let's... Hmm. My turn, okay? let's, let's start bravely here. I have Alicia go this I'm way. Excited. Is there any way you can hide there? Enemy unit spotted. Okay. Got it. I don't know if he's seen me yet. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't know you could change the over the shoulder look. That's kind of cool. This is a pretty far shot for her. I'm not going to expect a miracle here. I'm probably just going to have her. I just wanted to know if there's anybody covering this top alley area. I'm trying to get as much of him in this circle as possible. Let's go right there. Nice. Oh, he didn't even fire back. Sick. Um... We don't have any good cover. I'm just gonna back up. Kind of tuck behind this spot right here. It's not perfect, but better than nothing. Let's see how far up I can get Kobe here. His movement. Uh, just barely didn't get him in range. It's okay. I'm gonna try to okay, here goes. outmaneuver them here a little bit. I'll do my best. The enemy's attention. Ugh, dang it. <laughs> Just barely not close enough around the corner there. Um Find this? Oh, we can. Enemy spotted. Okay, that is. <laughs> That's a lot of targets. All right. Make use of the Great. Let's just see if you can hit. Uh. Let's just see if you can hit this. Come on, line it up. Line it up. That's good. Bang, bang, baby. All right, sweet. That was worth it. Um, I don't think they're... There's much else I can really hope for in terms of cover up ahead. I hasn't moved yet. Advance cautiously. Enemy spotted. Uh, curious how far I can get here. Oh. 
Not that far. I'm gonna go ahead and back off, actually. I'm not gonna leave. Oh, no. I mean, he's definitely still out in the open. I can cover her really quick, though. I have a plan. Can she get to the tower? Ooh, just barely. Whew. Nice. I'm not done yet. That tank up ahead over there is rumbling, from what I can tell. That one in the background there. So I'm just gonna kinda get up here in position. Then, last point. Last point. Ready to move out. See if I can't get some extra damage on this guy around the corner here. I missed shots, fine. Back off. Take it out, soldiers. Probably could add her, actually run up and take cover against the side of the building there, but that's okay. Ooh, nine. Oh, that was a nice quick cancellation. Oh. Oh, well, that almost one shot. Holy shit. Oh, that's interesting. Did that do damage? Okay, if it did, it, she healed it back up, so that's okay. Oh, we need to get to that tank ASAP. Shoot. Need one shot here, Alicia. That would help immensely. Boy, if I could, it doesn't. It doesn't lock on. Oh, here we go. There we go. I'll take it. Um. Uh, I don't really want to stop her turn here, but she is gonna take some fire here. Mm. Yeah, right here is fine. All right, this shock trooper, eh? I was kind of hoping to have this tank. Oh, it's got 227. That's not much health left. Send Juno ahead here. I want to see. Oh, these tanks. Identified. 
Oh, that tank is up there. I was going to try to get up on those sandbags there. Oh, shit. I don't know what's around the corner. Nothing. Oh, I meant to crouch. I meant to crouch. Well, okay. I have a new, I have a new imperative then. Get these two up as far as I can. I'll do my best. Oh, I'm pushed here. Shit. Try to hurry. Our time is limited. She can't get far enough. Hopefully one of these shots hits. Nice. Thinking, as long as I can get. Use the back alleys. I'm gonna wait right here. He should have a decent sight line in case that enemy that I know can see uh, Dorothy decides to move forward or try to get a good shot. Um, boy, we should probably. Shoot this guy. Multiple enemy tanks sighted. No. That whiff is going to hurt. get to here. I see there's a guy up on the roof there. I'll take care of it. Three shots. Oh, we got one shot up here. Oh, because that's the... No, the treads are already down. I'm going to risk getting a little closer here. Yep. Let's say I'm probably going to get lit up for it, but I really want to make sure it hits the, the vulnerable cannon part here. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Sweet. Cuts their movement down. Back you off. That's the end, for, that's the end of my turn. Yep, that's what I was, I was afraid of that. She might go down. Firing at my 
Shock troopers there, that's okay. Oh shit. Oh! It's my own fault. I didn't, she wasn't crouching, so she got crit. Wow. That'd be about it for them, yep. Ugh, I meant to have her crouch. I meant to have her crouch. At allied camps, you can substitute out currently deployed units for soldiers waiting in the reserves. To send a unit to the reserves, move them to the camp and press A once the retreat command appears on screen. Units returned to the reserves will have both HP and ammo stores fully restored and can be redeployed in a later phase. That's cool! To deploy a unit from the reserves, select a camp in command mode to see a list of available reserve units to select from. This costs 1 CP, and the number of units you can call out from reserve is limited to 8 at a time, so choose carefully. Okay. Great. Well, our first objective is to make sure that we get uh, Juno out of there, okay? Um. Oh, I no, wait, I still have Catherine. That was Juno. So we're okay. Really need to make some progress this go-around, though. I will have... Great. Enemy spotted. Oh, we don't want we do not want to be close to that. Um There we go. This is what I would have liked to do before. See you later, nerd. Nice. I don't really want to be out in the open. I'm gonna just position here. I think. There are some bags further up ahead, but I don't want to risk. There's two. I got two enemies in my sight lines here that are both high, uh, positioned high. So I'm just gonna pause here for now on that turn. That was a success for what I wanted. Gonna see if I can get Catherine all the way up there. It's gonna be tight though. She's not gonna make it. Make use of the building. War leaves quite a scar, Is a long shot. Uh, damn. I almost don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just go over here. I think. And wait here. Uh, it's probably farther than I wanted to go, actually, but it's okay. Why, thank you, Leo. Had you not told me to capture that camp, there's no way I would have ever realized I should do that. I... Man, what would I do without you? I'll handle this. Hostile sighted. Multiple enemy tanks sighted. I was very tempted just to not take it. Very, very tempted. Oh, I don't think that's gonna make it. Your throwing arm is pretty shit there, bud. That was not close enough. Better run for it, bud. I want this tank on. Is there any way you can hide 
Okay, got it. I feel slightly misled, but it's okay. Because I know... I know exactly how to deal with this particular problem. Fuck out of there. Because there's a lot of sight lines over that wall. Alright, we've got two left. We should probably try to, like, move my tank up. Tempted to lob a shot at this tank that has been firing at me. Oh, okay. That doesn't really have any lob. Got it. Just stay calm and get it done. Avoid hasty. What's all that noise? Has something happened? Emergency wire from Alpha Camp, sir. Under attack. Request reinforcements. What? How did Galia get across? Ah, don't wake the men up! Get out there now! Similarly, the enemy can call for backup via their own camps. The only way to stop this from happening is to occupy their camps as quickly as possible. Sure, that makes sense. Yep, so they, they're spending... That's four... Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, four crouch, so that's okay. Tanks on the move up there. I'll try my best. Multiple Imperial tanks sighted. Oh, shit. I thought maybe I could fit through this gap. What's your situation? Ooh, it's gonna be tight. We made it. We made it. Just barely got to crouching range. Oh, that was clutch. That was very good. Found. 
Really great stuff. to get dealt with but with the sniper providing cover fire you know what i just need to take another shot i've got one more shot this round i really really need this guy to be dead oops really really need to hit him i don't know if i should be greedy and go for it yeah fuck it oh oh <laughs> Oh, all right, fine. I did, I did my best. Maybe she'll get to shoot back. We're running a little low on turns for my liking right now, though. I really need to push forward. Shit. Oh, did he whiff? He whiffed it into the wall. That's very good for me. That's all their points. Oh, no, they got one more. It's a lot of enemies up there. Oh, nice! You just got instantly aced. Okay, I'm gonna be in real trouble if we can't get this... If we can't get this guy taken down here, Catherine. So please... For my sake... Shoot center mass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, 
Did it. <laughs> Does it? Does it make things a bit easier? I can't imagine how or why. God damn it. Fucking ran a scout all the way up the far ladder. Ugh. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Back up just a little bit here. Oh, didn't get it. Damn. I've got one left. I was gonna try to get rid of this Lancer so that they couldn't counter my tank, but I'm not gonna do that with that tank right there. So Yoko can take another shot here. side of the tent. Imperials closing in. Oh, I can't go that way either. All right. Just wait here. I was going to try to sneak her in to take this camp before they can drop reinforcements on it, but fine. It's a lot of enemies. Oh, I think they know Alicia's up there. Oh, I definitely fully... Oh, he is going to shoot at me. Okay. Damage minimal. Please get back up to me. All right, Catherine. I just need you to get a sight line on this Lancer and take him out for me. Wait, four? Really? Four shots? Even on a headshot? Oh, okay. All right then, what about this guy? about that uh okay i can't see him all right so she's not a very effective lancer okay hmm got it i don't know if i want to gamble with this shot or not or if i'd rather just maneuver her into a different position there's another enemy in front over here i can use the tank as cover don't from Ah! Oh, he is crouching. You're right. You're right. Boy, howdy. Hello. I don't really care if you're crouching. Oh, wait. 21. Oh. You are a you are a tanky lad. Fair enough. Those eight hit points made a big difference. All 
Oh shit, there's another Lancer right there. Who's not crouching. I'll handle this. Hostile sighted. Come on. 75% accuracy, Kobe. Here we go. It's, it, he's not that far away. You can do it. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Mm. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think she can hit this guy from here. My one hit away on every enemy. Yep. Welcome to this playthrough, everybody. To Welcome to this playthrough. I will be very close to killing many enemies, but just a little bit short. Oh man, those tanks are... Oh boy. There's just a, there's a lot of, there's a lot here. There's a lot here that I'm going to have to deal with. Daka daka. Oh. Didn't do any damage. Should have hit him with a mortar. Well. Alright, everything's fine. This is going exactly how I want it to. Oh, okay. I'll take that use of a turn. Oof. God damn. She might she might drop here. Damage minimal. Yep, he seems determined to take her down. Ooh. Bang, bang, baby. Seven hit points. 
How many points will you sink into that? Okay. Yeah, we are in trouble here. We are in big trouble. That's what I was hoping to see. Open fire. I'm trying to get in a good spot here so I can make sure. Because I can't do targeting mode again. I think this is a good spot to wait, though. I'm going to have her apply pressure to that to this guy by blowing that thing up right on it. Um... Northeast full HP. I need to Yoko. I need Yoko to get in and around on the back side here. Or the other tank that's down the way. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay. Got it. I can't push forward here. I'm just going to back off around the corner and wait. Um... I need a round for the Edelweiss to take this tank out and then back up. And I think my other two turns are just going to be focused on getting rid of this Shock Trooper. Um, probably with Dorothy and then having her back off. Um, and then I'm going to bring uh, Claudia up to do some repairs on the Edelweiss. So let's start with that. Well, actually, let's get this Stormtrooper out of here. No, you don't shoot me. I shoot you. Oh, that headshot helped. That was clutch. Uh, okay, well, you don't have much movement left, so good luck. Okay. That's going to have to be good enough. She might be in a tough spot. Now that that's taken care of, let's line the Edelweiss up for a shot here against the enemy tank. Oh. Nice. Backing up. Backing up. Not too far. Oh, backing up is hard. Just around the corner enough that hopefully we won't have to worry about that other tank being able to maneuver in position there. And hit points. Nice. Nice. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. I've been found. That's a wall. All right, Catherine, I'm giving you another shot. Why? I don't know, but I am giving you another shot. Look at look at how look at how small that uh, that is around his head. It's perfect. Can't miss, right? It definitely can't miss. Catherine, please don't miss. Down, 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 down. The sniper aiming is a little strange. Holy shit! <laughs> She's so bad! She can't hit! She can't hit anything! Oh no! No! Why did she- Oh god, and I ran out of fucking movement. You know what? Fuck it. Get back over on the other side. God damn it. Yeah, what Galia's militia can do. Here you go. This is what Galia's militia can do. Right here. Holy shit. Alright. Fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't anymore. I can't anymore. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh, holy shit. Oh. I should have just done that two turns ago. I should have just done that two fucking turns ago. Why did I why did I keep doing what I was doing? Who did I think has she got one hit all mission? No, no, she is not. She has missed every shot. Maybe it's the fall that she took from the tower. Maybe that's just got her all she's all worked up from that. My turn, okay? Maybe she shouldn't be a sniper. And I'm not gonna make that judgment call, but I could see how you might want to. Now strike the enemy's camp. 37. Oh my god. That's awful. Yeah, she just got a concussion, you guys. We should be nice to her. She just got a concussion. My leg. They got my... I'm gonna fucking hide here. I need my motherfucking tank to get its ass in there and wreck some shit. Excuse me, the motherfucking tank has arrived. Would you mind blowing up for me? Boy, that is just a tiny hitbox on the ass there, isn't it? Ooh, that was a smooth hit. Oh, that was very good. I am very surprised that that worked out in my favor. Does it make up for Catherine? I don't know. Catherine's put me in a really weird spot. I've wasted at least four or five turns on her actions, and they resulted in no nothing good for me. So I don't know if it makes up for it, but it is 
a significant improvement over the situation. My fear now is just getting in there to capture this camp before the I run out of mission or I run out of turns in the mission. Don't even bother, Kobe. Don't even bother returning fire on that guy. Okay, never mind. We should be fine. I'm just gonna steamroll my ass in there. Yeah, two turns left. No speed merits for me on this, but. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Oops. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Entering combat. Hello, I am Tank. Yes, it is me, Tank. How are you lads doing? Now. Not so good, I, I imagine, after that. Not so good. Gonna check this guy for a drop. Pull it together. Nothing. Now strike the enemy's camp. Right, we're done. Mission complete. Yay! Nice work. We've occupied the enemy encampment at the bridge's end. Drawbridge control room secured, Welks. Excellent. Open it up, East. Let's see how their tanks like the river. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Ragnite turbines on. Stand by to raise drawbridge. A D rank. just a river you guys calm down now the tank operators they're fucked but weaponry tab oh they're anti-tank lances panzer lance This is their sniper rifle, the Empire sniper rifle. It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Not any old tank. Yeah, and Waterproof I tank. Worked. I'm still in shock. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kid might got the chops to command, but that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. But I hope... I know the day will come when Darksons can join society as equals. Hey! Hope I'm not interrupting anything! It's me again, reporting for GBS. Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. Was it my first mission? 
Yes. It's like my second. Thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? It's my second taste of victory. Thank you very much. Impressions? Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. Okay, Welkin. Whatever you say, bud. Sorry, this is about all I can do. But maybe, once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia, we're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. Wildflowers, do your stuff. Chapter 5. Yay! The Cloden Wildwood. Personnel, new skirmish. What's under the personnel? Secondary military education, he chose tank operation at university officer training. In addition, he earned credentials as tank commander. Drafted during EW1, she joined Gallia's militia as a sniper, electing to remain in the militia af military after the war's end. Her work ethic quickly saw her promoted. Yeah, I could see that. I, I, I don't find the game particularly difficult or in-depth so far, but... Uh, I don't think that it's very well suited for a younger audience. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. It's a lot of military talk, too, which, when you're younger, doesn't... At least for me, I didn't know much about military stuff. It wasn't really an interest of mine, so... A lot of this shit would have gone over my head, too. Like, regiments and squadrons and all that sort of shit. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. Oh my god, Welkin, please. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right, I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. Yeah, it's it's got a, it's got a neat little, like pseudo historical setting you know it's got a nice like fantasy twist on europe and stuff um and uh i'm enjoying the characters as much as i make shit out of welkin because he's a fucking goober uh i mean it's it's an interesting little setup so far i think it's gonna get a little i think it's gonna get pretty fucking buck wild but uh at least right now it's playing out pretty 
stereotypically. Berthold Gregor, leader of the Northern Gallian invasion. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Oh, and he's British. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. Just one tank. And whoever's leading them is no fool. Southern Gallian Roddy Gager. Contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. Mm. <laughs> My glasses were already all the way up my nose, but I pushed the them issue anyway. The here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it. Swiftly and Silvaria Bless, exactly. Central. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in Central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. I don't think that dude has a an appropriate military uniform. Oh, Prince. Will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius. Selvaria, be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. Gross. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. Okay. Setting up some villain characters for us. I like it. I like it. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Here we go. Hey, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Got her. Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. Like goats. La, 
That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. Russell, Russell! <gasps> We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air! Goat! Mind? Oh, uh, it's a porkavian! Oh, I see what they did there. It's a pork avian. Ha. 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 It's a pig? No, I just said it's a pork. They don't listen. It looks like a pork avian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? Aww. I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Rip. <laughs> Even all the way out here, the war is still claiming lives. Please, it's just bacon. It's just bacon. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. Holy shit, you guys. Are you kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me? You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. It's a pig bird. Mink? Mink! It's a pig bird. We shall call him Rations. <laughs> I love it. Rations, welcome to the squad. Here is a brief on the task at hand. The enemy's supply base is located at the east end of these woods, tucked behind a tight defensive line. Your squad will sweep in and attack from the west to capture it and cut off their lifeline. I suggest you hit the base head on with your tank while foot soldiers take the north path behind the enemy's back. Your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. Tread carefully, I suspect they've planted mines all across the area leading up to the base. You should be able to see them, but be careful. Accidentally stepping on one will deal major damage. An engineer can dismantle a landmine by approaching it and pressing the A button when the command appears. Also remember that a tank can roll over landmines without sustaining damage. That's another way to clear the road. Conversely, foot soldiers can walk on the larger anti-tank mines unharmed, but a tank will take tread damage. We've heard word that enemy backup is approaching even now. Get out there and claim that base fast. <laughs> All right, let's make sure that Claudia is there, and we'll send Homer in this group. Mm-hmm. 
I wish I could click through to um see what um the abilities do. But I think um Scout Killer Night Vision Melee Skills Child of Nature. Run with that. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, Take the trail to the base. All right, listen up and I'll explain. Sometimes when units near allies attack, those allies will join in with supporting fire. Up to three units can team up and their support fire comes at no CP cost. The units in your squad each have specific other members they like especially well. Teaming up with those units will result in an exceptionally powerful attack. Staging a team attack against crouching enemies can be a smart way to defeat them. However, bunching up for team attacks can leave your soldiers open to powerful area attacks from grenades and mortars. Know when to group up for offense and when to stay spread out for defense. That makes sense to me. Okay, so tank, couple of lancers. Seems like maybe I should have brought a sniper with me here to deal with these. That's okay, though. Okay. I don't even see any enemy units over here. I'm guessing... Yours to use. Ooh, gross. Don't say that again, Homer. Why would you do that? Uh, I am going to have Homer scout this area ahead a little bit, I think. Use the trees for cover. There's a mine right there. there. Enemy spotted. Okay, and he spotted a couple of enemies. All troops, advance! How close can I get? There we go. Watch out for long distance gunfire. Take that Imperial supply base. Anti-tank gunnery reported on the north bank. We're in danger while it remains, Welks. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Oh, I see. The trees are limiting our visibility. Oof, nine shots? Nice. Good start. <sighs> Who are these guys? Ready to move out. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Is this valuable use of your turn? Or is this a valuable use of your turn? Ha! Fuck you! Wow, that did not do... 
as much damage as I would have imagined it could do. That's okay. You got it, hon. I don't know that Jan can even reach. He cannot. He tried, though. He did his best. And I can't see across there to even try to deal with these guys, can I? Shit. Those Lancers are going to be a problem. Watch out for gunfire from long range. I'm just gonna chill here because I don't she can't she can't make it to cover, so we'll see if they poke at all. She could take a shot across the way if they poke. I did not manage to take this guy out either. I don't know what his range looks like. I'm gonna hold off on the tank, I think, for now. Alright. Are there Oh, that looks like an anti-tank line. Okay, I just... <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Okay, here goes. My turn, okay? Beat the smell of fresh soil. Don't give them a chance to attack. Damn. Please hit. We're coming to help. Far enough away that he shouldn't be a threat. But I don't really know what they're capable of from their current position. Ten. Did that hit one of my... I don't know where that... That appeared to be Amy and Alicia as well, but just like... Whiffed right past me. So there's a bunch of enemies in the main base. There's an enemy rolling up on their position. Another pot. Nice. So they're holding that fortification there with the with the um, sandbags. When being attacked, units will sometimes duck under enemy fire and avoid damage. This is called evasion and can be negated by attacking from the target's rear. Attacks from behind also cause the target to panic, leading to slightly lower accuracy during their counterattack. This is yet another reason to always guard your own back while actively trying to circle around your foes. Okay. We need to do something about a couple of the things that are going on right now. You got it, Han! Now, Jan, I don't actually know if you're going to be much assistance. Okay, you know what? That's fine. You're close enough. Uh, well, one shot to kill. So anti-tank cannons apparently are armored units. Oh. 
Oh, I did damage to the... But not the shock... The shock trooper is different? What, what shock trooper am I aiming at? Am I aiming at one way the fuck over there? Okay, I think I am. I think this dude is not... Is not separate from the cannon here. Yeah, there's no way. Alright, well, now that I know that they're armored units, that helps a lot. Oh, we did a we did a thingy. Sorry, honey. Enemy unit neutralized. Great. Oh, here's one. Get like right here. I'm gonna have. Homer. Yours to use. I really wish he wouldn't say it like that. Filthy. Occupy this. Oh, I just got lit into. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, he just got so lucky. Oh, I almost ran him in to get one and done. That was scary. Didn't like that very much. Back off into... Wait. Repair? Hold on a second. Oh, the sandbag. Cool. Sure. That's fine. Thought he was going to repair the anti-tank gun, and I was like, uh, yes, please. Okay, so they so engineers can repair flat and sandbags. That's good to know. Um, I do not have a good shot on these guys through this fence here, from where Catherine is at. So I'm gonna have her move up to here, crouch, and just wait. That way she can help uh, these guys. But with the gun gone, we need to move the Edelweiss up. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, Claudia got hurt. Claudia almost died. Try to keep that front line strong. Take that imperial supply base. Yeah. And keep it back. Okay. She'll be fine behind the tank. I have Alicia in kind of an exposed and uncomfortable spot, but I would also like to move Alex up. Hmm. My turn. Okay. Prob probably safer to just adjust this here. So that so that she the smell of fresh soil. so that she doesn't get wiped out. We'll catch Alex up next turn. Minor damage sustained. Ooh, that was not minor. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure medium tank. 
Oh, shit. hit that guy? No way, right? He's way too far away. Oh, he's crouching too, so we can't even headshot him. What do we see up ahead here? All units prepare to intercept. Can we go this way? Oh, I didn't quite make it to the grass. Fuck. Alright. Right. We're fishing a barrel here. Use the trees for cover. Am I like that too? Yeah. I complain about my allergies all the time. All units report. Keep an eye on your rear. Open fire. We have we have to deal with this shock trooper here. Thirty-eight shots to kill. Grenade, not even close. We're fishing a barrel here. Hostile identified. Take out that supply base. How did that enemy tank even fucking see me, dude? Return fire. Now. Boom. I got people in position to break in through that open gate on the side there to help provide some uh, additional assistance to the tank pushing up the, the, the road here. The trees are destructible? Dirt 
please. I get whiffed. Fuck. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Please don't put yourself at risk. Oh, here's one. I should have just run up here and done this. Fuck. This is rough. Trying to get a line of sight on the enemy that's up there, but I don't think we can, so I'm just gonna move her up this way. Good thing the fence doesn't have any holes in it. I agree. Uh, man, both of these guys crouching here is... I may just need to go for it on this, on this turn to try to make some headway. I won't be able to move the tank, but I'm going to try to get some directed covering fire here. She hit. She landed a hit. You sure? Hello. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Die for me, sweetie. Did I miss again? Oh, Jan's in trouble. I did what I needed to to do there, though. Ready to move out. Hostile at two o'clock. Does he still count as crouching? Or am I just too far away to be effective? That's gonna be rough. I think he still counts as crouching even though I blew up his fucking bag. I don't know if this will get close enough. Might have been a waste of my time. Yeah, it was. I don't like that he gets to still count as crouching. That makes me sad and angry. Uh, I don't have a good. I don't have a good plan anymore. Both back there? I don't remember. Keep that front line strong. No, she's right there. Try to the grass on your surroundings. Wanted to give her her grenade back. She may need it. Boy, I am. Boy, 
Well, I'm out of options here. Unless they move. Like, it, it sucks that he still counts as crouching, so I can't do much damage to him. Even though I blew up his sandbags. See if he is now. What? What? Roger. Healed all the way back up too. Man. Not crouching anymore. just got a lot easier. Oh, yeah, I can keep crouching there. Oh, I'm stuck. That's what, that's all the further I can move. I was hoping to get a little bit further around the corner. It doesn't matter, though. Because Jan is just going to do this. Because I don't give a shit anymore, and fuck you. Oh, he's not crouching anymore. I'll take it. So it worked that time. All right. Back entrance created. I'm not done yet. Nice work. Keep taking them down. Entering combat gonna move the Edelweiss forward a little bit because it took a pot shot at my uh, my units last time and I didn't much care for that. So I'm gonna take a pot shot back at it this time. And by pot shot I mean I'm gonna get close enough that I can fucking nail it. Actually... Yeah, fuck the tank. This guy. I missed. I missed both.
That may actually get him killed in one turn, I'm not sure. Yeah, that does a lot of fucking damage. Or not. Can heal that up. And they're in deep shit this this round. They are in deep shit. Cause I've got people behind him. You sure. I see a bad guy. Oh. Oh. Enemy supply base sighted. That was bad. Fuck, it did hit the wall. I thought the reticle would be in a good enough spot there. That sucked. Also, I don't think I knew that they had... Oh, that was the tank that shot at me. Fuck. These Lancers also turned towards me. Oh, boy. Alright, well... That sucked. Oh shit, you can't get past her on this All right. units, to intercept. That's unfortunate. I have to be a sneaky snake here. Yeah, so there's just damage fall off at range, it seems. Also, they are facing the wrong way. I cannot, I do not have enough movement left to get up on those bags, though. Make sure you stay calm. Good. That was a big enough explosion for me. Okay, here goes. Nice. I'm good. Man down. Please back up to me. Watch 
Watch out for stray bullets. Underminer fire. I was a little worried about this. Shit. Fuck. I'm just resting. I couldn't get in range for Catherine to shoot that guy. That's what I tried to do. I was afraid he was gonna run up on Jay in there and shoot him. That is very unfortunate. My turn, okay? Pull it together. Just stay calm and get it done. Combat. You have visibility there. for long distance gunfire. Take out that supply base. Oh my god. Fuck. I'm 
ready. God damn it, dude, that tank. It's just in the worst spot. Fuck. Yeah, nobody can get to them. I it it looks like it's ugh. It's frustrating because the indicator seems to be pointing that it's looking forward. And I shot at it, so I thought it would turn. <sighs> that is not what happened. I don't really have anybody who can get back in there and help them. Juno might be fast enough to run around from the top side and at least get Jan, but... I don't know about Homer. I guess I have to try. Now run! Run away from the big mean tank! Holy shit, that thing wrecked me. That machine gun on the back, or that machine gun that it has, is... Sure seems to be way more effective than the Edelweisses, I don't know why. Really need to get rid of that fucking thing. Surprised it's actually not out of ammo yet. Oh my god, if you get in range and merp Juno, I should have. Wait, is. He's running backwards. He ran all. He ran all the way to the back of the map. He ran all the way up there. Why did he run away? That's fine. Yikes, dude. Oh, Jan's fine. Evacuated safely and going immediately back into the into combat. I mean, I can, I can probably get rid of it this turn just with my own tank, but. A lot of AP just going to that. Oh, actually, no, I cannot. It's four shots to kill. I got all the. Yeah, I got all the mines there. Hold on. Are there any weak spots in their defenses? <sighs> Gotta love nature. Fall in after the advance unit. Oh, I can't. I can't knock these down? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Permission to advance granted. Target locked. Fine, this is fine. Everything's fine. Fire! Everyone get ready to intercept. Oh my god. Take them out. 
Ugh. It's never close enough. Their grenades just don't go far enough. Shit. I love a grenade over this. No. Watch out for gunfire from long range. Target sighted. Shit. This could be bad. This could have been a bad choice. Here I come. Some damage. I think all it did was tread damage. Fuck. Please don't put yourself at risk. Too late. I already did that. It's fine. Everything's fine. See, what my plan was is I was just going to drive the Edelweiss back far enough along this path here that I could just shoot it in the butt and be done with this shit, but that didn't work. Um, Entering combat. I don't know, I'm going to shoot it again, but like, it's not going to die. Welcome. Can I get rid of these? No. They're there to be anti-tank. I see. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 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 Fair enough. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. Just trying to see what kind of sight range it had. Too much. This tank needs to die. Minor damage sustained. No idea what that scout is doing. Hands back. You got it, hon. Now it's time for Jan's revenge. The shot that he missed earlier, because I'm bad. Uh won't miss this time. Oh, Fuck sweetie. you. Oh 50. God damn it. Entering combat. I was right, he didn't miss, but. Excuse me, Mr. Tree. Sorry. Nature, blah, blah, blah. Hello, asshole. Fuck you. Boy, howdy. I'll try my best. Thank you. I wonder if there's a secret over there. Unit 
Like, why do you suppose this is here? I've got a visual of a supply base up ahead. It looks like there, there's like a, a vantage point up this way. We gotta hustle now, too. The other thing. That scout has lost his mind. I think the AI might partially be confused because it doesn't know what to do about the fact that I haven't gotten there yet. And it's waiting for me to have to deal with the mines that we know are on this map. Um, but I'm just, like, too slow. So it doesn't really know what I... how to react to my slowness. Ready to move out. Hostile identified. Please don't put yourself at risk. Be sure to check your ammunition stores. Here we go. Please focus on making careful decisions. Yeah, we can't go that way, but we can go up here. Time for a dirt nap. And I see an enemy up this way. Oh shit. Well, she's just kind of standing out in the open because I ran out. Yeah, oh, look at that. There's a fucking anti-tank cannon up here. It is a good thing it's not an anti Alicia cannon, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Of this uh, insane AI who's running around like a chicken with his head cut off, though, hopefully. I'm not done yet. Good. That makes things a bit easier. I bet there's an anti tank cannon up along this side, too, honestly. Got it, 
unfortunately, this means our man has a job to do, and he's got a long way to go. Oh, there's a scout headed up that way. Not good. Not good. You got it, hon. <laughs> got him as far as I could. down here so that she's not in danger. Don't put yourself at risk. Just in case that scout gets any funny ideas. I should have a good advantage here. Hey Angel Dust, how's it going? Got any liquor? Mm. I hope these stains come out. No. No, I do not. I mean, not at my immediate disposal. I'll do what I can. I, I'll do my best. Or Jan. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Right. Next turn, he'll be in position. Uh, not much left there. How dangerous do you think it'd be to drink quintillion distilled liquor? I mean, it depends on whether or not you think being alive anymore is dangerous or not. It's pretty much the only thing that I can really say about that, one way or the other. save it for this turn. We'll see what they do. I think that scout's going to move up to where Alicia's at. And shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh. Okay. I think that was a little bullshit. That's alright. Yeah. That's fine. Definitely lost the damage battle there, so... I'll take it. Let's just do this. Moving out. Not cool. Who are these guys? Enemy unit spotted. Eh, she would have been fine through a grenade. She was hidden too, so I didn't expect the. I didn't even expect that. Didn't even expect that scout to see me first. I thought I would at least get some shots in. Tank killer. Goodbye. Sorry, honey. You're doing well. Just keep it up. All right, let me just hop down here too. Oops. Okay. Shoot. 
Just leave it to me. Wait a bit long. I don't think this sh this shock trooper is not in a defensive position. The only downside is I don't have any advantage as far as range goes right now. And there is an anti-personnel mine there. All right, Juno, if you can line shots up well, you'll get this guy toasted. If you can't, well, we might have a problem. We'll deal with it if it comes to that. Ugh. Nice. Um. Be ready for an ambush, soldiers. Uh, all right, fine. Stop there. I was just gonna. I was gonna try to get to that tree for cover, but I knew I was kind of just wary about whether or not I could even really get behind it. The answer was no. No, I could not get behind it. But. We'll take care of it that way. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Agreed. Three left. Three left. Anti-tank cannon's gone there. Let's move the Edelweiss forward. got here as soon as I could, but apparently not soon enough. General Jaeger, you brought reinforcements? A few, but this place is almost surrounded. We'll lose both the base and supplies if we hold here. Listen, I want you all to pack up what you can and get ready to evacuate. What will you do, General? Buy you boys some time. Just leave the enemy to me. Oh, no. Oh no. Uh Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh. Okay. Enemy supply base sighted. It's just ahead. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. I don't even know if I want to shoot at this guy and provoke him. I'm just going to go ahead and... Alright. This officially has become a problem. I should have sent Catherine up here with these guys. Okay, thank goodness. Whew. That was... I was really... Really nervous there. I have no idea what this guy's gonna do. Are they actually gonna evacuate? Damage 
Ow. Boy, how much can he move? That's quite a bit more than... Okay. I might be dead. Nope. Okay. Whew. <laughs> uh huh. That hurt a lot. Oh, man. Three of them there, actually. Backing up. Enemy supply being sighted. It's just ahead. Backing up. Don't fight off more than you can choose. We're fishing a barrel here. They get pot shot at this guy who ran out in the open, I guess, but not counting on it being able to hit. Now. Oh! Did hit him. That is not enough health to survive another assault. Watch out for gunfire from long range. Nice. We're fishing a barrel here. Yeah, the main thing that I want here, though, is I don't need her getting completely annihilated by this tank. So I'm just going to run her back up here. That worked really well in my favor. The only problem is... I would really need to hit him again here before the end of this turn, and I do not have a good way of doing that. Besides just running another one of their turns.
Catherine's got a sight line on. Well, not this shock trooper, but she could. Needs a headshot, really? Fuck. I can't really risk running her that far forward because there's no cover. From, you know, the tank. I'm just gonna have to take this shot and see what happens. Back her off just in case that thing comes a barreling down that road. Oh, I have another grenade? Oh, no, I do not. I don't know why it's not great, or er, crossed. Oh, that's right, it doesn't cross out, does it? Okay, that's fine. What's my likelihood here? How much do you need? Eight to kill? Yeah, I'm just gonna take the, the guarantee on that guy. Nice. That was definitely the smart choice there. I do not want, need them to stand next to each other and both get blown up by one mortar. Okay, good. What? I'm not sure I fully understand this tank operator's objective on its terms. Oh, are you going to come up here and try to fight me? You're a shock trooper, aren't you? Yeah, you're not going to make it. Alicia even got a shot in there. That hit. They definitely know I'm on the hill up above, though. There, there is. They are not confused by that. My current positioning in that regard. Oh man, is this guy hurt? Yes. Okay. All right, Catherine. Just need a center mass shot here. Thank you. Enemy unit neutralized. I should probably deal with these goons. Alicia and Jan can't take them by themselves, though. Neither of these camps is close enough for me to really get deployments or reinforcements deployed to assist here, either. I was thinking it would be really handy to have another uh, Lancer, but I... Even then, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, they're not going to get there in time. Because you have to go all the way down and around and then all the way up. Hmm. 
What's my best option here? Let's see what sort of damage Alicia can do on her turn. The enemy could be hiding anywhere. She lands accurate shots. The only problem is he's pretty far down range. Oh my gosh. He's a champion. Now the question is, do I try to let her do that again? Against that guy. All units, please get to your positions. Be wary of a possible ambush. Medic, medic. Got its treads, so it can't move. Actually, fuck, I sh It can still move, but it can't move very well. Honestly, now that I just did that, I probably should have tried to do... Well, it keeps moving back to this spot, though, so... Maybe it'll waste a bunch of its movement trying to reposition and won't be able to now. Its treads actually went down pretty quick there. All right, Alicia, same strategy. Get those nice headshots for me, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We're just going to back off. We're just going to back off. I deserved that. I'll try my best. Thank you. Wow. Minor damage sustained. Minor damage sustained. Fuck, man. Okay. Oh, boy. This is an order. 
Heads up and get ready to defend yourself. My turn, okay? Oh, damn it. I knew she'd take some return fire there. That's why I wanted her to make sure that she was staying healthy. Ugh, damn it. I need that guy dead. really tempting to fire at that but if, if this guy's gone then I can get even closer Die for me, sweetie. motherfucker ah <sighs> that's probably not good I wish there was a point along the wall here, up on the top side, that I could sneak Juno around in and take these two guys out. But because of where this freaking tank is at... I've got a visual on it. The visual is crying out for me to get fucked, and that's what's happening. Enemy supply base sighted. It's just ahead. You have visibility there. He's so close, I just have to risk it with the pot shots here, because I can't I can't let him live through this turn and potentially kill Jan. I've got five shots and I need to hit two. Alright. Oof. Man down. Everybody be careful. Alright, that's really good. I only have five more turns to finish this. I'm hoping I'm kind of... I'm kind of hoping I can draw the tank a little bit closer towards me. And he won't be able to back up. Yes, closer. God damn it. That's it, though. That's all of its... Yeah, okay. Really good. Really, really good. You got it, hon. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, no, that is... I was not referring to, to uh, alcoholic shots, no. Although, I don't know, if these guns shot shots, that would be kind of rad. Shit. Oh man, this is a bit of a gamble and I'm not sure that I like it. Oh, no, 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 no! Hold on. He's facing that way. Can I just, like, sneak around on the other side here? Make sure the tank doesn't kill me and... Shoot him down from right here? Not really, I guess. I need 12 hits. Unless we get headshots. Ah, Alicia. Well done. Well done. Alicia and Jan fucking carried this mission. Oh. Oh, man. I don't think Jan can run all the way over and get cap the point yet, though, so he's just gonna- we're just gonna have to stall for one more turn. I'm gonna run Claudia all the way down. I didn't- wasn't sure if I was going to end up backing off all the way, but I did. Ooh. Thank you. Horrifying. I don't want any wasted lives out there. Man, if- uh, if it was just a little bit- if it was like right here... I would at least attempt to run Juno to the sandbags and see if she could maintain cover long enough to get over, but... I mean, actually, oh, uh, but yeah, I, I don't want to risk... If, if, if any of this area is close enough to this guy that he can shoot Alicia, I don't want to risk her, so... We'll just be patient, we'll wait. We'll wait one more turn, it's fine. Um, the Edelweiss is plenty healthy. I'm not going to kill this thing anytime soon, so... Uh... You know, the only thing I'll do is I'll move Catherine out of harm's way. Actually, you know what I'll do too? Just in case. I mean, they, they still have a base, so they could call reinforcements in on their turn. So just in case, I'm going to move Alex up. Because I've got some extra wiggle room this turn anyway. We'll see what we'll see what the what lupus or what the what the lupus does. It says his tank's name is the lupus. Come in, all units. Oops. Keep moving around. Don't give him a steady target. Boy, he is very confident that he has friends. <laughs> yep, forward. Forward is good. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, and he backed up. Great. Underminer fire. Below quarter HP, but underminer fire. I didn't... That backup, I did not need that. I did not need the backup. Just in case something goes terribly wrong... I'm just going to start with this Thank you. and leave her there. All right, Alicia, good luck. You're not going to shoot, so heal. Just in case you get hit with a hail of bullets. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh.
Dude, when that tank rolled in. That should just about do it. Oh my goodness. General Yeager, base camp has been occupied. That is not what I expected. This this mission with the having to funnel the tank down that path was already tricky. The relay from base patrol says they barely got out with the supplies. Good. But I've got to hand it to them. Galia sent a real fox into these woods. Well, it's not a supply base anymore if there are no supplies. We're all done here. Incoming transmission, Welks. They've taken the base, but most of the enemy already fled. One step ahead. They timed that perfectly. I'm just glad that backup unit arrived late. Still, we've completed our mission. Nice work out there, Sevens. D rank! Love me the D rank. We seized a gun from the enemy. Great. Okay. Well, we will continue this game on Tuesday. That will be it for tonight. Uh, cause we already went plenty long, so that's it for the stream. Tomorrow is, tomorrow and Sunday are both Yakuza 5. We should be making some significant progress, uh, towards being done with that game. And Monday is more Celeste. And then this is Tuesday. That'll just be the schedule for the short term, so. That's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the stream. Uh, have a good rest of your night, and I will see you guys later.